this is probably one of the most important meetings that we have as a club and hopefully this is a meeting that develops over the years an opportunity for you to come and listen to the leaders of the club at the end of the season. We set our goals and our ambitions as a total club and, and we're accountable at the end of the season. So it's an opportunity for you to listen to the leaders and also ask questions. The Glasshouse completes the club's strategy to provide magnificent facilities for our players. We have the best training facilities bar none. 2017 is obviously the 125th anniversary of the Collingwood Football Club and we're working towards some fantastic things including what I hope uh, to be able to achieve and don't go off half cocked on this one as, as I'm about to go off half cocked uh, is the fact that uh, we want to play a uh, Mad Cup game at Victoria Park if we get permission. When you get a sense and a shape and a taste of what the Collingwood Football Club is. You've all got skin in the game and I'd, I'd like you to know that every single person that I'm um, managing in the football department, uh, the coaches, the staff, the players, are absolutely focused on the success of this football club. We went, and, and Bucks has already spoken about this, we put significant time into addressing and developing the endurance capacity of our players. We were always strongly confident that the interchange rule was going to change. We've known for about two or three years that, that was going to happen. We're obviously going to move down from 120 to 90. The outcome of that is that next season players will be on the ground longer. They'll get less rest. But when they actually sit on the bench, they'll actually be sitting on the bench for longer periods of time. Well, as Nathan touched on earlier on, it's, it's, it's not about the now, it's about the future. It's about us being sustained in our success. So what we're able to do in the trade period this year has um, really uh, set itself up going and, it, and has clearly addressed a few of the, few of the issues that um, Nathan spoke of in terms of the areas of the, the ground and where we need to improve. Just quickly, I'd ask a question to uh, either Bucks or to, uh, to Derek. Tell us about the impact of the recruits. It's just still in the thunder, uh, Eddie. That's so, exactly what I was going to ask. <laughs> Can you pass on to Christy that he's one of the best sets of steak knives we've had down here for a while? I'm a very proud Collingwood member and I wanted to just say to all of you from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all the hard work you do and all the effort you put into our football club. And just one other thing, I promised I'd say it, I'm your number one fan, Nathan, not Travis. <laughs>